Hello, my Sagittarius, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. And of course, I'm Debbie. Now, I'm reading for May 12th through the 18th. I've done my overview. Watch it. It's called Watch the Wa Watch the Money. <laughs> anyway, uh, remember that these are general readings, may or may not resonate. So take what you like, leave the rest, okay? And if you want to know what cards I use, it's in the overview. Anyway, you've got there's a lot of moon mystery energy going on. Like not everything is so clear. I'm getting for you blessings come in different ways. Now, what does that mean? I don't know, but it might be that maybe, you know, maybe you're waiting for a promotion and it's your spouse partner that gets the promotion. So it comes in a different way. You're still being blessed by it. It's just more a case of, you know, you wanted it more for yourself. So just be very, very um, understanding of that and understand that your emotions, you know, you can, you know, something with your emotions, well, King of Raphael, you know, you go up and down, up and down, but the blessings still come. But like I said, in unusual ways. So higher power and Holy Spirit, what else is there for Sagittarius to know? What else is there that you want Sagittarius to know? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? So this is the one that popped out. It was kind of sideways. So we can take that for whatever it means. This is reversed and, you know, has a little more oomph to it. So we come to the King of Raphael. So King's energies. We have underlying energy is our air. Thought processes, thinking things through, making plans. Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. Yeah, really very tunnel vision. But then we come to Raphael. Raphael is our water energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio fluid, emotional, very, very spiritual. The king of Raphael. Now, I'm kind of going that this is, this is kind of the past, like maybe a couple of weeks going into this week itself. It's like you're riding the emotional roller coaster here right now. And that's what the king of Raphael has done. The king of Raphael has ridden that emotional. He has, he has seen wonderful, happy times, and he has seen the depths of sadness okay he has felt like his heart ripped out however this is a time now that the king says hey chill let some of that icky energy go let that go things are going to be better now you need to believe this you need to have faith in this you need you know and again the blessings are coming maybe not the way you thought they'd be but be grateful be grateful for it okay be, you know an attitude of gratitude so the King of Raphael knows where knows what you've been doing up and down, down and up, but is still in a good space. Okay, and I like I said, this this king has this king has, like I said, wanted to rip his heart out. But you know, but the next day always comes another, you know, comes a new sun. Or comes the same sun, but a new day. Warm, generous, honorable, refined. Yes, it is safe to trust. The ability to accomplish many things at once. Follow your creative passion. So put the other part, put the energy, the negative energy or the anger to the side and just look at the wonderful possibilities, okay? 10 of Gabriel. So 10 is a transitional number, meaning things are moving forward. You're not going to get stuck here, okay, my Sagittarius? You're not going to get stuck on this 10 of fire, 10 of wands. Gabriel is your energy, Leo, Sagittari Leo, and Aries. Um, passionate, burning, very determined. This is a burden. This is like, oh, what am I going to do? There's too much for me to do. You know, kind of, like I said, I'm feeling kind of an angst here. Uh, you know, it, it's like, you know, you want me to trust. You want me to do all this when I've got all this garbage that I have to deal with. So you want me to trust people to help me when nobody's helping me. The thing about this is you need to ask. You need to ask my, my Sagittariuses. You need to ask not just, not just the people around you, but again, the heavens too, the God, God, source, whoever that is to you. Ask your angels, okay? This is a burden. It is a burden. I, I would love to say that it will fall off your shoulders. We'll see what the next card has. But the King of Raphael is basically saying, trust, this burden will not be yours for long. Ask your angels for helpful people to lighten your load, working too many hours, trying too hard. This is it, trying too hard to please others, okay? 
take a look at that. Maybe you need to reevaluate that. Okay, next card, reversed. The three of Michael. So three is celebration, creation, the power of three. Michael is that air energy, sword energy. The three of Michael is letting go, okay? It is letting go. So while you have, you know, this will fall off your shoulders. This, you know, stop holding on to everything. You do not have to do everything, my Sages. You can delegate. You can ask for help. The three of Michael is a heart, you know, it's just one of these energies that just says, I need, just, I need to let go. I know, but how can I trust anyone to take care of these business? How can I trust anyone to do what they're supposed to do? Well, the King of Raphael says, it's safe to trust. It's kind of like, um, you know, when, you know, when your work, if you're working and your spouse, partner, or somebody else that lives with you isn't, and you tell them to, you know, okay, you're not working, I'm working, you, you need to be working. Now, that doesn't mean you have to go outside and get a job where you're making money. No, working in the home is very honorable. Um, so I would like you to do my, you know, my laundry. So maybe they don't do it quite right. It's okay. It's okay. Not that I want you wearing gray underwear, but it is okay. It is okay. Release the past. You will grow from this situation. Time heals all wounds. So there's a lot of letting go with this week. There's a lot of maybe coming coming to terms with this week at the same time. You know, just kind of maybe even coming to terms with yourself and also seeing that blessings come in different ways. Okay? So Sages, let's see. Higher power, Holy Spirit. I hope that, did that make sense? Oh, higher power, Holy Spirit. What do you want to say to your Sagittariuses? What do you want to say to your Sagittariuses? Here we go. Reversed. Two of action. So this is, again, action is your fire energy. Two is crossroads, choices, decisions. Maybe it's even partnering. So the two of action says trust yourself. Trust in your ability to make excellent choices. So, you know, a lot of this is kind of, you know, eroding your self-confidence. So this is, again, trust. It is safe to trust. A lot's on your plate right now. Trust your ability to make excellent choices. There's opportunity all around if you just continue to move forward. It may be time to take on a new partner who can help you be a success in your career or creative endeavor. Keep your eyes on the big picture rather than the details of the moment. Okay? So stop looking at the, stop having micro vision. Have, you know, look at the bigger picture. Okay, kind of the um, king of action, king of fire, king of Gabriel. Looks at the bigger picture. Okay, so not saying it's an easy week, but I see a, I see some light at that. In the, I see some light for you. Okay, let's see what we have here. And I see you regrouping, you regrouping and restarting, or you know, not starting over, but restarting in a better and, and going in a better direction. Okay, higher power, Holy Spirit, what else is there for your Sagittariuses? What do you have for your Sagittariuses? Ah, well this, okay, joyful sunrise. Find time to help yourself or you will find you are alone when those you've helped have moved along. Oh my goodness, this really, that wraps everything up, doesn't it? Okay. Let me know who, what's, there's a Sagittarius, or maybe a couple of them, a couple of you that's out there going, oh my goodness. So take care of yourself, okay, my Sagittariuses? And also, look at your blessings. You have more blessings than you think. The blessings are coming from different, from a different um, source. How's that? Not, I'm saying, still, still of God, don't get me wrong with that. But just maybe not the way you thought. Okay, black obsidian black obsidian i have my black obsidian disc <laughs> oh okay there we go <laughs> my black obsidian disc my gazing disc help really is very good for um meditation so strength support during changes everyday stress relief clears negative energy also black obsidian is very good also for energetic vampires okay protects you from psychic vampires okay 
Now, I've got this Angel Blessings. We're going to try them out. I've never really used them. I've owned them for a long time, but today they were like, excuse me, excuse me. So, basically, they come out with an angel. So, it might be an angel for you to meditate with, meditate on. It may be a protector. Okay, so we will see. Higher power, Holy Spirit, what angel would be good for Sagittarius? What angel would be good for Sagittarius? Okay, this one wants to stay down. So we're going to take that, and we're also going to take the top card of what I did. Okay, so the top card says Nisroc, N-I-S-R-O-C, freedom, freedom, breaking you out of your cage. Okay, freedom. Definitely take a peek. Find out a little bit more about this angel. And this one, the kind of Uriel, Uriel, angel that brings... Um, Light brings light to the dark and also about wisdom. Ministration, ministration, not administration, but ministering, taking care of others. Okay, that's very, very interesting, I find. So let me know if that meant anything to anybody and maybe I'll use them again or maybe not. Anyway, my Sagittarius is do me the favor, please. Do the like, share, subscribe, click on the bell for notifications. Whether you're watching me on Rumble or YouTube, it helps It helps keep me going. It helps keeping me on air. Anyway, finally, most important part, always know that you are loved, stay shining, and be blessed. Bye-bye.